So one of the questions I thought would be interesting to ask you, to start off with, is what would you tell Holly just starting off? Holly, beginning, you know, however many years ago it was that you began conducting, you're about to begin preparing for your first professional concert, your first foray into this field. What would you now tell yourself back then? I think I would say um, stop chasing someone else's career. I think that would be the biggest thing for me. Like a lot of our training feels like it's about, um, we have an ideal in mind of what we're supposed to do, the orchestras we would love to work with, the operas we want to conduct, all of these sort of uh, career track sort of ideas and very ambitious ideas and it's built into our training as musicians of always looking at the top of the pyramid in terms of um, esteem and uh, not fame necessarily I don't think classical musicians other than Lang Lang could ever claim to be that famous um, but um, what I would love to have known then was it's irrelevant what, how other people have done it. It's irrelevant how Kleiber, what he did for a job and how he earned his money. And just look inward and find projects that are meaningful to you, even if they are not in exotic places and do not earn lots of money and are not with fabulous virtuosic players. Find something that's actually meaningful for you, meaningful for you to do. Um, and it's so funny, I, I, I don't know about you, whether you teach or not, actually, it's a question for you, whether or not you do any teaching, but um, you get these really hyped up, ambitious, full of beans, sort of 21 year olds turn up in conducting classes and you, and you find yourself cringing because you know that's what you were like. <laughs> and it's so embarrassing. Um, <laughs> um, and and you just sort of and they're so full of trying to look like a conductor and they love watching videos of Kleiber and and oh, Janssen's and you know it's all very <laughs> aspirational and and you just think yeah uh, but it's empty unless it's meaningful to you uh -huh. or to other people you know um, beyond your own ego I suppose is what it is it's it's separating the activity from your ego that's really hard given the way we try really hard it's really